So, if the stars were hidden and the sun was playing hide-and-seek, what did sailors do? When the stars were hidden, sailors turned to our nearest star for guidance, the sun. The sun rises in the east, travels across the sky, and sets in the west. Its position throughout the day can still provide valuable directional clues. By observing the sun's arc, sailors could get a general sense of east and west. They knew that the sun reaches its highest point around midday, and that point would roughly correspond to south. But using the sun for navigation had its limitations. Cloudy days could make it impossible to track the sun's position. So, if the stars were hidden and the sun was playing hide-and-seek, what did sailors do? They learned to read the environment around them, becoming attuned to the subtle language of the wind and waves. Experienced sailors could tell a lot about their location and potential hazards by observing wind patterns. They knew that certain winds blew consistently in particular directions, especially over large bodies of water. The ocean itself also held valuable clues. Sailors learned to recognize patterns in ocean currents, water temperature, and even the types of seaweed floating on the surface. Using the feel of the wind and the movement of the water to navigate required incredible skill and intuition.